and we are yes we're of the colonel Scala has met the colonel yet again um with my dad and we're gonna do something to do with the back window so in here are two back windows and we're going to add them in to here so we have more light in the back here we're also gonna fit this this weekend so um yeah i'm gonna just set you up it's more gonna be like just watching us do what we do rather than me telling you what we're doing um it's raining outside it's a bit rubbish but um yes i'm excited to have back windows that's all i'm gonna say because we're gonna have some more light in the back Skyla! so yeah set you up and you'll be able to see how we get on hopefully it goes quickly side as well I just think she looks super cool so we're gonna have to paint these the step so it looks all good black it's very nice now on to the underslung tank which is a, um, a big job because there's no instructions but would it right so next stop is underslung tank I have already started to just prime these brackets. The guys are putting up Skylar, so we've got enough space. The underslung tank is going under here in front of the spare wheel 
between the spare wheel and the back axle. So I've got this as my next primer. So I'm going to put this hard or high build primer on um, the brackets once it's dry. And then I'm going to spray it with top black coat. So hopefully that will keep them uh, safe underneath there and, you know, just protect it a little bit more. And then we're going to have to drill lots of holes in Skylar. The shower hole, the sink hole, and Dwayne's just started drilling a hole in the back of the seat base because that is where Tank's little bed's going to be. And we've got a little bit of extra spare um, black stuff from the windows to put around to protect the edge and protect Tank from the edge. So we're going to put that in there today. Um, literally, doing loads, getting loads of our massive long tick list ticked off. So I'll set you up and you can see what we're doing. Showing off. Don't wanna have to wait tonight. Wait tonight. Better off. I'm gonna find my way tonight. Wait tonight. So, yes, so now, as you can see, don't say that, Dad. Dad says it's all gonna go up Shit Creek tomorrow. We'll see. Um, windows are in, just about to take the blue tape off and drive back to the marina, chill out for the evening. I've got loads of work to do, so I'm gonna be doing that. And then tomorrow we're gonna come back and do the waste tank. So, uh, yeah, the windows looking so good do you like our windows let me know in the comments down below what you think about our windows i think it makes a great addition to the van it's day two and we are going to do more things um Skylar. so we have to do today to fit here the tap that we'll be able to turn on and off the waste um, tank with. Um, we then need to do this sink, the waste pipes come out and underneath the van and then the shower waste tank out and underneath the van and then the shower tray to be fixed in place ready for the walls to go either um, we're doing that bit when we get home. Probably not next weekend because we're going to Van Life Eats next weekend. Um, so yeah, and we've got a few other things. I need to change my shunt out for a uh, for the smart shunt. And if we've got enough time, I'll put in a few sockets. 
lots of things to do today. So um, this battery is going to go, but I'll set you off on my GoPro. And then you'll be able to see what we get up to. Slight problem. Yeah. There's cable underneath there. There's cable? Yep. Where's the cable? Right in front of the hole. I only nicked it a little bit, but. Oh. Okay. Oh, bugger. Is it never easy? Why did there have to be a cable there? Wherever that cable is. I thought there was nothing there. <laughs> That Nicholas, he said there's nothing there. What are you doing, Kerry? Taking the shunt off. Massive shunt time. Look at the day though. Beautiful day. I'm filming on my iPhone because my phone, my um, cameras aren't dead. They've got no space on the SIM cards. Oh, I'm so dirty. Anyway, so we have finished. My dad's just putting the kernel back in the unit. Look how tight squeeze that is. Uh, so we have, let me show you. We have one shower drain in and it's working. My sink is all plumbed in. It comes from the sink all the way down through here, oh, through that hole there. And then my wastewater tank is all plumbed in under there. There it is. And this is my That's the owl, that's all the water out right here. There's no water left in there, so that's why it's not coming out. Windows are looking lovely. There's a massive black cloud over there, but super sunny over here. And we're done. We've got our smart shunt in as well, which I did. And um, we can now go home and start, well, not start, but finish off the shower and uh, do the overhead cabinets. This is super exciting. It feels like that's a massive turn to be able to have um, the wastewater tank. We're going to Van Life Eats next weekend and um, 
so we wanted to have wastewater tank in the, because it's easier then okay we don't have running water but we can get bottled water that's fine with us um but at least we don't have to worry about having a bucket underneath the sink so i know it's kind of a mixed video but it was mainly about my window so hope you enjoyed the video if you did give it a thumbs up and make sure you subscribe and comment below what you thought about my windows and our wastewater tank see you next time